Welcome, everyone, to Platonic Gaming. Thank you. You're welcome, Kyle. <laughs> we are your hosts, Kyle, obviously, me, obviously, and Ben, slightly less obviously, Hello, but me. he's still here. Whoa, that's okay. And today we're playing Mario Sunshine because it's a good game. It's my fault. Kyle will be on the controls today. For now. And we will be discussing... Hi. What are we discussing again? Uh, something, something about morality. Things. We're talking about morality. Yes. Um, morality and specifically, when, if ever, is it okay to take the life of another person? Right? Yeah. That seems like a good baseline. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just get into it. So, Ben, is it ever okay yes. to kill someone? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. When? Can what, I, so I can just, uh, like, <laughs> Yeah. I think a better question is, when is it not okay? When, I mean that seriously. That sounds, <laughs> when is it not okay to kill someone? Because Never. I think it's easier to define. Okay, Ben, when is it not okay to kill someone? Um, I, my, my answer to that would be, like, 99% okay. Most of the time? Yeah, most of the time. Um, when they're not trying to kill you? I am Kyle, what's your opinion? Oh, wow. It actually is a little bit disturbing. Oh shoot, it's like freaking lava. You're just melting. Yeah, that's my assumption, but yeah. Huh. Um, get out of there, dude. Okay. You just have to jump over it. Yes, I have. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're just gonna just die. Just like uh, everyone in Ben's world, where it's okay to uh, <laughs> kill you. There goes my lava. That's true. So, anyway, getting back on track. Ben. Yeah. It's okay to kill someone if they're trying to kill you. Yeah, I think so. Without any caveats. Well, let's see. The world without I mean, we, huh? I mean, I think that in general, if someone's trying to kill you, you can, you can kill them in self-defense. Probably, like, if there's another way that you can stop them, preferable, right? Okay, so, so it's not the go-to option. It's not, yeah, it's not plan A, right? If, if you've got a gun and someone's so coming at you and threatening you, plan A is like point the gun at them and say, hey, stop or I will shoot you. And then plan B is shoot them if they don't stop. So you are down for planning to kill But someone. are you, would you yes. immediately go for a kill shot? No, if you can stop them without killing them, okay. then obviously that would be preferable as well. So that brings us to, I think, another question. Why does Kyle keep falling in the same <laughs> That is hole? an excellent question. I think he's a, just a bit of a masochist. Anyway, no. Um, I, might be. I think um, my question oh. is, what about preemptive So like in war, right? Preemptive strikes are basically the only war that exists these days. You strike hard enough so that they can't strike back. So in the case of, you know, you're launching a drone strike, is that morally okay? Huh. Well, that brings up a whole other question. Well, are we talking about, like, nuclear warfare? We might as well get them before they get us. Well, no, not no, nuclear. saying drone strike, not just like uh, drone, drone strikes, strikes or, um, yeah, like, you fly by real fast, you drop a bomb, and then you get out of there. Because weapons have, produ like, gotten to the point where, you know, there's really not a point in dra long drawn out battles. Right. Well, so one um, take on that would be um, if you're saving lives, then that's okay. If you're saving more lives and are being taken, not saying that's so it's about the view that I adopt, but war's yeah. not always that simple. Obviously, but we're not uh, really gonna get into that today, right. I think. Um, so you mentioned if you're saving more lives, then would be lost otherwise. Sure. Okay. So Let, let's talk about the trolley problem. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the trolley problem, imagine you've got a, a train and it's going down a track, right? You've got like five people roped down to the track and the train is going to run them over. Roped down, okay. I thought you said robes down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so the, they are... Uh, attached to the track um, in such a way that they can't escape and they will be run over by the train unless something is done 
Um, the train can be averted onto a side track where there is one person um, tied down to the tracks. And you have the option to either let the train go and not interfere, five people will die, mm. or to pull the lever and have one person die. Kyle, you you're directly involved. Yeah. In. Spray okay. the water instead of trying to fly over. I know, I kind of figure out how to do that. Okay. It literally just. <laughs> <laughs> but I was half listening. Um, anyway. So I would say, I would say I I just say like um, freaking ask the the one person like dude you down to sacrifice yourself trolley problem style? No, there's no time. There's no time. There's no time. That's not yeah, the train is like, coming. You don't it's down to you specifically. Shoot. And also for the argument's sake, you don't know these people. Okay. Okay. How old's the one person? How old are the They're rest of the people? They're all identical. Sex They're tuplets. identical? They're sex tuplets? Yes. Well, shoot. Uh, which ones are, like, are contributing more to society? They all have the same job. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> and they all do it equally well. Yep, they have the same... Literally, they all are identical in every way that Oh matters. my gosh, you got angry that you were trying to destroy it. And now it's gonna try to... You could try to just go around it. You have to? Do you refill? So Ben, what do you do? Trolley problem. Oh heck. Um. I mean, I think that like I, yeah, I, I kill the one guy because I would feel like responsible for the deaths of the other five if I could have prevented them. So you would actively interfere in. Um, taking someone's life in order to preserve the lives of the many. Yeah. Honestly, I would probably just let them all die. You mean that's five? not an option. There's no, there's no option to let all six die. You would uh, let them all die, bring the train back, <laughs> and, and then send it down. Down. <laughs> That's not an option. I'll just kill them all, and then I'll kill myself. You know. Classic okay, so hmm. Kyle may be a psychopath. We'll have him. Uh, <laughs> we'll have him go talk to a psychologist later. Oh, oh but it's later. Done. I happen to agree in this specific oh, instance. Right. Um, I I think I would also divert the track. Um, but the problem becomes more complicated. Oh when yeah, you say it does. That, this like, is this is like baby mode yeah, trolley problem. Yeah, because yeah, the real problem is when you say like the one person is freaking like your mom and the other yeah. five are strangers. Yeah, then or what do you do? doctors or whatever. Right. Or the one person's a murderer and the five people are like. Wait, no, you have to have like the five people. I mean, the five people are <laughs> shoot. You're right. That's what that makes sense. The five people are murderers, like mass murderers, and the one person is like a renowned doctor or something. Yeah. Hmm. Which. I mean, yeah, it gets hard. And then you've also got maybe the one person is like a CEO. <laughs> you got whatever that is also. And then the other five are these uh, these, these tropical people. <laughs> and one Not that we have anything else. Yeah, maybe one of them is Mario. Maybe one of them is a criminal. Well, shoot. Wait, why is Mario right. is in court? Because I uh, see they will, words. in fact, explain it to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Crazy how that works. I can't believe that, like, however many years since Mario Sunshine's come out, neither of you have had it spoiled for you. No, not even slightly. What do you mean spoiled? Like, knowing anything about this game. Oh, yeah, for sure not. I didn't even know it existed up until, like, about three minutes ago. That's remarkable. But also, Ben's not a gamer, so we can forgive him for that. Thank you. Kyle is, like, a medium gamer. Yeah, very medium. Even though I have, like, a lot of gaming and stuff. It's true. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on That was there before I even Okay, arrived. so where were we? We were talking about the trolley problem. And oh, yeah. so Ben. Yeah. If it was, if the one person was like the president of the United States or, or someone who's like oh. no, just like Oh, oh just president in the abstract. Like, yeah. So someone who's like <laughs> Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. One of them is Abraham Lincoln. Who was actually around when trains were invented, so maybe this is There possible. we go, okay. So one of them is Abraham Lincoln, and then the other five are like Citizens. freaking... Yeah, not bad people, but they're also not freaking Abraham Lincoln. But, oh, they're, but they are Abraham good Lincoln. people. Yeah, okay, not is this Abraham Lincoln pre-13th like 13th Amendment? This is Abraham Lincoln as you imagine him, Ben. I imagine him as... 
freaking Abraham Lincoln. Okay, <laughs> then that's who it is. All right. It's freaking Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. But is this like shortly before he gets assassinated anyways? So no, I wouldn't no. feel very bad about Okay. You don't have knowledge of... What if it's baby Abraham Lincoln? Baby Abraham Lincoln. Whoa, no. Okay, you gotta save baby Abraham Lincoln. Hey, man, he cut down his father's cherry tree, all right? We gotta Wait, hold on. Who's <laughs> <laughs> George, George Washington? I heard it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> I really no, do you know. Haven't. I've heard them say it about... I actually have heard it both ways, but I'm almost positive. It's definitely... The story Washington. definitely is about George Washington. Washington. Anyway. So, trolley problem. General Charlie... Cons- Char- the Charlie Pro- problem. The Charlie problem. <laughs> would you save Charlie? Who's Charlie, though? That's the real question. Charlie Brown? Yeah, would you save Charlie Brown? Okay, back back to Lincoln. Uh, okay. Would you save someone who's, like, a major uh, contributor to society? Like, um, and the other super, five? super good for the Okay, I gotta get rid of this guy. He said get rid of all the society, the, the economy, mm. the environment, maybe. I don't know. Someone who's a major player in... Important circles versus five. So you guys realize you're deciding that there's Mm. a hierarchy among people, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to determine here. Well, I mean, you've already decided it just by saying it makes any difference. Well, yeah. yeah, So what I'm saying is, does it make a difference? Does it make a difference? Does it make a difference? So is is one Abraham Lincoln worth five Charlies? Who is Charlie? This is, we don't even know who Charlie is. That's a problem. We gotta take some time to get to know these people better before we make a decision. <laughs> and that's but, exactly my point. I think no matter who the people are, I think I would always save the one. Or the five. <laughs> <laughs> always yeah, the one. Always the five. I'd always, <laughs> I would always divert the train to kill the one. Mm. Um, because... Speaking morally, I suppose, there's you've got to, if you're going to save the one or the five, why do I keep doing that? If yeah. you're going to save the five in any circumstance, you've got to save them in every circumstance. Right. Otherwise, you're just like biased and... Uh, you're definitely dying, Kai. Kind of. um, you can't be biased based on the person. Okay, okay. You have to treat everyone equally um, equally in this scenario. Otherwise, like Kyle said, you are deter- you are setting a hierarchy of you know usefulness based on you know someone's job or yeah or right. even just like how someone's related to you. Even if it was my mom, I would, I would kill my mom. What? Yeah, you would savage. Um, to save five people, yeah, I would. Five strangers, and my mom knows that too. Okay. Your mom would be mad at you. No, she would. But do you think it, if, if, oh, she'd if be mad I didn't? If, you did it. if yeah, I didn't, yeah. that's correct. Um, I, I mean, yeah, I yeah. told my mom that I would kill her to save five strangers. I get that. I, I mean, I you, when did you tell her this? I told her that a lot. A daily. Really? <laughs> Maybe not daily. <laughs> At breakfast, just like, hey, mom, remember. <laughs> If I just so you know, you to say five strangers. Just so you know, mom. So you mean so less to me than five strangers. Charlie Brown is like really direct. Like you can redirect the probably to kill one person. Yeah. Um, but is it, does this extend to like any situation where you could actually kill someone to save more lives? Like, is, are you just saying the good of the many always outweighs? Yeah. The good of so, the one? so in a slightly more real, maybe not realistic is the right word, but like more applicable scenario, you could have. Um, Say you are, you happen for some reason to be very well versed in the uh, FBI most wanted list, and you are walking through Walmart or something, and you, you see one, you know, one of these people who's like super dangerous terrorist, maybe. Yeah. And they are, you have the opportunity to kill them. Or the president. What? What? No. But you don't have the legal right to just kill them just because they're wanted and they're a dangerous terrorists. Yeah, I guess that's not a great example. So, totally. maybe I mean, now that they've got a bomb and they're like, I'm going to blow up the yeah. store. So maybe that. there's like a... Uh, a you have to shoot the freaking plant dude. Yeah, you have to shoot him in his mouth. you got to get him to drop out first. Well, I understand that. So, see, Mario is justified in killing this plant guy. Because the plant, because is plant killing guy people. is killing people. Is he killing people? Uh, I feel like he's just looking at each other. Yeah. So, so once again, we've determined that Mario, maybe not 
best model. Yeah, Why do you go run right away? You got oh, you need to restart your water. water. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, what if um, what if some like crazy person's like, I'm gonna kill like a whole bunch of people unless you kill this one person. Like, are yeah, you like justified? Some crazy in... game. Yeah, exactly. Are you justified in killing the one person because it's the only way you have of saving all the other people? Or are you obligated to try to find some other way? I think way? if it's legitimately the only way. But how do you determine if it really is the only way? Because in the movies, they like often find another way unless it's a freaking horrible horror movie. It's designed to make you feel terrible about life. Well, I'm like absolute this. Crap at this. Okay. I'll get better. That's why it wasn't. I like think the only way you can really think about these situations is in the you binary option scenario. Where yeah, there's yeah. not like a third option. You know the scene from Avengers where Iron Man's like, I would just cut the wire, right? You would lay on the wire, let the other guy call over him, right? Oh uh, yeah. Um you've gotta think of it in, in there's only two scenarios. Otherwise it gets really complex and you know, maybe the guy says Either you kill this guy in 10 seconds, or I will detonate a bomb that blows up this whole thing. Right? Right. You don't have the time to think of another option. You just have, you know, kill the guy, don't kill the guy. Yeah. Is it okay to... Well, so, I mean, if you decide not to, because you don't want to, like, be the one personally responsible for deciding to kill one guy, are you responsible for that guy and everyone else all dying because you didn't? That's another good question. Who's okay, responsible? You, yeah, I mean, like, it, obviously the guy who blows up the building is responsible, but are you morally responsible for that? I think in most situations, uh, the, the idea is that you are responsible because you have a chance to save somebody. Think so? Well, that's why think... you're putting yourself in these situations, yeah? I didn't put myself in this situation. In the trolley? I saw a murderer there. I think you are... You can... I think just for me specifically, you're only... You can only go one step back in the culpability um, cycle, I guess. The person who is responsible for the deaths is the person who immediately caused them, I think. Um... So you, by your inaction, are not responsible. What, but are you responsible if, by your inaction if you, there was like, if, so if someone's like freaking falls on the railroad tracks and you could have jumped and pulled them off the railroad track and saved them, but you don't, are you responsible for that? Yes. Responsible like you for had, their death? Yeah, if you, had, if you would have been capable of intervening but you decided not to. Um, that's the idea, yes. I'm going with no on that one. Why? And you're not. I think you're not, because... But if you're not morally responsible, then why is it, like, the morally right thing to do to save them if you, if you have the opportunity? Because okay. there's a difference be between Maybe morally right and not morally wrong. Yeah. Something can be morally wrong, so what you're saying something can be not morally wrong without being morally right. There's, there's a moral neutral. Yeah. An inaction is neutral. More or less, yeah. So you can... Oh my gosh. You can shoot water everywhere but that guy's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <Being right. laughs> and also, you're going to die. So... But if there's that whole idea of like all the evil needs to succeed is for good men to say nothing or whatever it is, right? Yeah. How does that play into this whole moral neutrality thing? I think that is the case in which it's more that's more of a binary case where someone evil is trying to do something evil. And you do have a moral obligation to stop it. But what you're saying is that it's only if there's yes. some like but you don't have a moral obligation to help Finally. in cases where there are accidents. I don't know why I, don't know I was using using the same gonna freaking controls for the first until I almost die, and then it finally lets me spray up instead of walk into it. You it let makes Dallin have absolutely go. zero sense. It's an octopus. No, I think it's fun watching Kyle try. Mm -hmm. One more try, then I'll let go. Okay, fine. Um, but to Ben's point, I think when there's something... Um, you know, you do have a moral obligation to fight evil wherever you can. 
in whatever shape that may take. And we're not going to define evil right here and now, mm -hmm. because I don't think we're capable of it. I don't think most people are. Exactly. It, it, that's a whole other discussion. Yeah. But I think in the case where it's something... What, what were your words specifically when you were talking about... Um, you know, like if somebody's jumping on the railroad tracks and you could save it. Yeah. Like, if, if you have the opportunity... You have the opportunity to save someone. Um, and is it then your you responsibility? Don't, is it your responsibility? If you have if you have the power to do it, is it your responsibility to do so? Okay, Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> I think... In many cases, yes. But I also think that if you fail to do so, you're not necessarily culpable. Sure. It, it's kind of a weird scenario because you should try to help people whenever you can. But I also don't think it's you have to go to the. the like, hey! I don't think you have to go to the extra length to. Oh, there was that right there. Um, I didn't have to go all the way. Put yourself in danger to help other people as much. Princess, look! On the statue's head! Well, then that just goes into the whole, uh... If it's gonna kill... Or that goes into the... If you're protecting yourself, then we can't blame you for it. Kind of idea. Also, you could go into the whole, uh... If you're trying to save a life and it's just going to put you both in danger. Right. Uh, right. So, self-preservation is a higher morality than Supposedly, protecting someone else? That's the way we're kind of taught most of the time. Well, if you can't protect yourself, then how can you Where protect you others? I think. Okay, okay, okay. But what about, like, the... Um, so scenarios in which you protect others by putting yourself in harm's way. Like freaking Will Smith in I Am Legend. Spoilers for those for of you who haven't watched like it because it's like years old, not, not quite, quite 20, but like 15 or something. No, I don't know about 15. It's pretty old. It's an old it's 2000. And also so literally every superhero you've ever. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I have no idea where you are. Right? So there's, a, it's Just very much there's this I idea guess. that like, one of the highest forms of um, moral strength and courage is to put yourself in harm's way to protect other people, right? True. I think in that case, you know, putting yourself in danger to save another person, maybe not... Oh, look, there it is. I don't know, it's a complicated question. You have to spray them with water. Are you trying? That's what I have to think about. Well, that's because nobody has the answer to any of these questions. True. These are all very... Um, I think that's the nature of it. They're, they're questions to get you to think. So, right. while I think about that one, um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. <laughs> that's weird to say. Um, but, yeah. The whole point of this YouTube channel... And the whole point of me trying any of this out is to get people to think about these harder questions. And so let me know if... I don't know, let me know what you think on um, any of the questions we've talked about today. And we'll be back some other time, hopefully, with another topic. Uh, but for now, that is... The, that's Platonic Gaming. Um... Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it.